Uh, hi everyone, again, my name is Brian. I'm gonna lead you through the workout today. Um, just like Hannah said, you don't need any equipment for this, but a chair if you do have one and some dumbbells light if you do, or cans of soup, water jug, whatever you have laying around the house. And um, we're gonna go run through a HIIT workout today. I'm gonna run you through the warm up. Sorry, is that a picture there? I'm gonna run you through the warm up, and then we'll go into, we have two different circuits of, for the HIIT workout. Um, we're gonna try to keep that blood rolling through the body, the heart rate elevated, work on your lung capacity and your endurance right here. So we'll start off with, uh, with the warm up, and then I'll go through each circuit. I'll go through a run through of how to do everything. And then we'll go for four, four exercises in a row, each for 30 seconds, and then a 45 uh, to a minute break. And then we'll go through another four exercises and then a four uh, for 30 seconds and then a four and then a minute or 45 seconds to one minute break. And we'll start over and then we'll go into the next circuit after that. We'll do two rounds of each. Um, and then we'll have our cool down at the end. So is everybody ready to start with the warm up? All righty, we'll start with the warm up. I just want you to sidestep just like this first, get that blood. Um, move in through the body, from the legs back to the heart, and from the heart back to the legs. And we're going to add uh, arm circles just like this forward. If you want to go big, over exaggerated, you're more than welcome to. Whatever's comfortable for you. Just like that. And then keep your core tight here. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Now I'm going to go backwards with it. Just like that. You make it big, really open up those shoulders, keep sidestepping. All right, and now we're gonna move into a bicep stretch. We're still gonna sidestep just to keep our whole body moving with this warm up. Get those heat shock proteins going around, really starting to get made. So we're gonna push just like this on the forearm, or on the fingertips, open up. You should feel the stretch in your forearm and in your bicep, just like that. All right, you're gonna keep moving, keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Now we're gonna switch hands over, same thing, palm facing outwards, fingertips, push down till you feel a little resistance. You're gonna feel the stretch right here in your forearm and in your bicep. You're gonna breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Good job, everyone. Keep stepping. Nice little side step. Perfect. All righty. Now we're gonna shake it out. We're gonna go back to the arm and we're gonna do the opposite. So palm facing you right in towards your heart, your chest area, and you're just gonna grab the fingertips and push forward. We're gonna get a nice wrist stretch going. Just like that, keep stepping. Remember to keep that core tight. Really think about keeping that core tight. It's one of the most important with our um, posture. Then we're gonna shake it out and switch to the other side. Again, palm facing you to your heart, to your chest, and you're gonna push with, with your fingers. Not too hard, just to feel a little resistance right here in your wrist. Just like that. All righty, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna shake it out, get loose. We're gonna go into a nice back stretch. So we're just gonna go like this and stretch our back out. Should feel your scapulas reach or uh, protract to so pull apart from each other. Feel that stretch. Start to get a little curve in your back, just like that. Keep stepping. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. You'll shake it out. Go back to it again. Just like that. Good job. All righty. Next, we're going to go. We're going to shake it out. We're going to go into an oblique stretch, a lat stretch. So what we're going to do we're gonna put one hand on our side, step over, 
and just grab to the sky. Try to pull over. You should feel the stretch right here in your obliques, in your lat. Just like that, keep stepping. And if you wanna come down again and then bring it back up, come over just like that. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Good job, everyone. Keep it up. All righty, we'll shake it out and we will switch sides. One arm on your hip, opposite hand over and grab and you should feel that stretch right here. Good job, everyone. All right, now we're gonna bring it back down, shake it all out. And we're gonna stop sidestepping now. And we're just gonna go into march, just like that, raising legs up and down. And if you wanna bump up the intensity, you get a little jog going in there, jog in place. All righty. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna shake it out. Speed up a little bit here. We're gonna get a try and lat stretch going. So we're gonna grab elbow, bring it over the head and pull back. Keep marching in place. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Just like that. There we go. You should feel the stretch right here in that tricep and then right here in your lat. If you need to go to the side a little bit, pull it to the side. It's totally fine. Keep those legs pumping. Keep that blood turning back to the heart. We're gonna switch now, just like that. And you wanna push back. You don't wanna push down. You wanna pull back, just like that. Good job. Keep pumping the legs. All righty. I'm gonna shake it out. Now we're gonna go into a chest stretch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to touch our hands behind as we keep jogging in place. And then we're just gonna lift them up a little bit and open up that chest. Open it up, pull it, and try to open it up to the sky and just hold it there, just like that. Good job, everyone. Doing great. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Remember to engage that core, keep it nice and tight. That really helps the posture. You should feel that stretch, shake it out now. Good job. Now we're gonna go in to an, into a neck stretch, I'm sorry, it's a blank. All right, so we're just gonna grab, and we're just gonna pull across. You should feel the stretch right here. Don't pull too hard, just, just enough to feel a stretch. If you want, you can grab right here too, pull across, just like that. Whatever's easier. You should feel that stretch right there, all that built up tension, trying to relieve it, release it. All right, keep marching in place. And then we're gonna switch sides. Roll it out before you do. And then grab the opposite. Pull just a little bit. You should feel that stretch right here. Good job. Keep those legs pumping. We're almost there. All right, and we're gonna relax now. Shake it out, move it around, shake your arms out. All right, and the last we're gonna do is an across the body shoulder stretch. And grab the arm, come across, apply pressure where your, arm, where your bicep is or where your forearm is, not on your elbow. Keep those legs pushing just like that. Good job, feel the stretch right here. Keep moving those legs. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. All right, we're gonna switch arms in three, two, one. Swing it out and switch. Just like that, good job. Feeling great, keep it up, keep moving those legs. All right, breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, and then we're gonna relax in three, two, one. Relax, you can stop mar marching. Shake out your legs, 
So now we're gonna work on balance right here. We're gonna run the clock is what I call it. You can have a chair if you would like, if not, totally fine. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the clock. All you do is gonna try and let's see if I can go back just a little bit. Gonna touch in front of you to three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock. Try keeping your balance and back to 12, come back to center. So we'll start in three, two, one. All right, 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock, and back to 12. Then we'll reset, we'll do this like one more time. Go 12 o'clock, three o'clock, six o'clock and nine o'clock. All right, shake that leg out, shake the other leg that you're using for your support. Now we're gonna run the clock again. So we'll go, this time we'll go 12, nine, six, three, and then back to 12 and reset. So we'll go as far front, as forward as you can. Tap the toe, come back up one, Three o'clock or nine o'clock, two, six o'clock, tap that toe. Back to three o'clock, back to center and back to 12 o'clock. Good job. Remember to try to keep that posture up, really keep that balance. Really gonna focus on ankle stability here, range of motion in the hips. So again, we're gonna go forward. 12 o'clock, nine o'clock six o'clock and three o'clock and back to center. All right, so we'll shake it out now. All right, now we're gonna go into warming up our legs. If you would like to have a chair, um, we're gonna do a squat to a calf raise. So just remember shoulder width apart, you're gonna shoot those hips back. That's the first thing you're gonna do. You're gonna focus, pick a point straight on the wall, keep your back straight. Shoot those hips back, put your hands out, sit in the chair, come back up and go to a calf raise, extend those hips, get on those tippy toes. Come back, reset, and we're gonna go back down. Good job. Remember to breathe on your way down in and exhale on your way up. You really wanna keep that core straight. We're gonna work on that range of motion in the hips. As we do sit down, rock back, come back up, perfect. Good job. Good job. Come up to a calf raise, explode up, drive those hips through, back down. Good job. All right, next we're gonna do is an abductor stretch. You're gonna grab a chair. You don't have to do that if you want. You could stand just like this, one hand and lift straight up. If you would like a chair right here, Keep that stability and up, just like that. Good job. Keep that back straight. Try to keep that chest pointing or pointing on the wall and keep your eyes straight forward in front of you. Remember to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth while keeping that core nice and tight. You should feel this on the outer part of your leg and a little bit in your, your glute on the other side, just like that. Keep it going. Now we're gonna switch in three, two, one. Just like that, switch sides. Good job and begin. Good job. Just like that. Good job. And then we're gonna warm up our AB or adductor. So we're just going to stand. We're just going to come across the body with the chair or standing straight. Just come up, come out and in, out and in, out and in. Keep that core nice straight, nice straight posture. Just like that. Work those inner muscles. There's seven uni adductors. Just like that. Switch legs, switch sides. Your reset and we'll begin. 
just come across just like that. Squeeze thighs together. Good job. All righty. So we're gonna move into a cat cow for our next one in three, two, one. If you'd like, we could do it in the chair or on the mat. I'll show you both ways before we start it. So we'll start on the ground, just like this. I'll go from this angle, just all on all fours. You're gonna drop your hips, sink your hips, sink your stomach, your core, your abdominals to the ground. Now, you're gonna wanna breathe in when you come up. <sighs> Curl that back like a cat. And then you wanna exhale back out, sink your hips, bring it out just like that. In and out. Good job, in and out. If you'd like to do it on the chair, and just be same motion, just like that. Bring in, out like that, and up in, explode through the chest. Good job. Good job. All right. Keep going. You're doing great. All right. And then we're going to stop that in three, two, one. We're going to go into our next exercise. It's going to be called a cobra stretch. So what we're going to do, this is going to stretch our lower back, abdominals, open up our chest some more. We're going to just lay our legs straight out. And you're just going to go from here, from the ground, and come up straight up. Extend those arms. Stretch out that core. And you could go back down and then come back up just like that. Keep going, you're doing great. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. As we can do that in a chair, all we're gonna do is go from here and just open up that chest just like that. Come back down. Just like that, good job. Good job. Keep going. Doing great. We're going to switch to our next exercise in five, four, three, two, one. We're going to go into a child's pose. So, what we're going to do is on the ground, going to go all fours. Spread your hips out as far as you'd like. The farther, the better. And then you're going to sink your hips back in. Come back straight out, just like this. Okay, let me back up just a little bit. That's better right there. Just like this. And then you're gonna sit back into your hips, just like that. You're gonna breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. You're gonna you could go to one side, stretch out the left side a little bit more just by Focusing on one side more than the other by moving to that side. You're gonna go back to center, stretch, and then you're gonna go back to the opposite side and stretch out. You should feel it all in your hips and your abductors. And then if you'd like to do this on the chair, just like this. So you're gonna sink your hips back and just raise up like that. Good job. Keep going. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. And then next we're gonna go into a butterfly. In five, four, three, two, one. This is a classic butterfly. Laying, sitting down, putting your feet together and stretching out. In the chair, you would do it like this. Just put them together and let gravity take it. When you're laying down, when you're on the floor, you could do it this way, just like this, just like that. And then if you want to really stretch out, you could put it in and then lay down and let gravity take it down. Gravity is now naturally will push your hips down to the ground. You can also push, feel the, try to push a little bit. Don't push too hard. 
on the inner part of your thighs. And you can just let gravity do its job there. Remember to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Keep it going, you're doing great. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. We're gonna begin our next exercise in three, two, one. And we're gonna come up from that butterfly. We're gonna go into a crunch. I'm gonna move back just a little bit. As you can see, I'm just gonna elevate my legs up just like this. And all I'm gonna focus on is getting my shoulder blades off the ground, just like that. Cup your ears so you, do, you don't strain your neck and pull your head up. You just wanna cup your ears and just, just like that. And we'll begin in three, two, one, just like that. Nice little crunch. Get that blood flowing to your abs. Remember to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Just like that. Good job, everyone. Keep going. You can also do this in the chair if you'd like. Show that real quick. And that would just be legs up and just crunch together just like that. Or you can bring your legs in like that. Keep going. We'll go into our next stretch in three, two, one. Good job, everyone. We could stop crunching now and then stay in that crunch position. Elevate your knees. Just gonna do a glute bridge from there. So you're just gonna focus right here, just like this. And you're gonna thrust up and get those hips off the ground, that gluteus off the ground and come back down, up. And down, up, and down. Good job, everyone. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Good job. All right, we have two more in our warm up, and then we are done. So the next, keep going. And we'll finish those in three, two, one. Good job on the glute bridges. We're gonna go into a quad or a hamstring stretch. And all we're gonna do is gonna keep laying on our back just like that. And you're gonna pull in your hamstring and hug it into your body just like that. Feel the stretch right here in your hamstring, a little bit on the side and those abductors. Bring it in if you want, you can take it out a little bit. It'll stretch more of your adductors. Good job, breathe in and breathe out. Good job. I'm gonna go straight out with it. You're gonna bring it back to the other one. Just like that. Breathe into the nose and out through the mouth. And we'll finish this in three, two, one. We're gonna come up, roll up from the ground. And we're gonna be our last stretch, which is gonna be a quad stretch. So we're gonna stand up. If you have a support, a chair can use it, but all we're gonna do is come up just like that. Grab back if you can, if you can grab your leg. If not, just bring it up as far as you can go. This is also gonna work on our balance. Try to stretch that quad out. You should feel it pulling right here. Have some resistance. And we'll hold that for five more seconds. Four, three, two and one, and we will switch to the other leg. So again, if you have a chair for support, lift up as far as you can. If you can, grab it. 
your ankle and pull and you can open up your hips as well. You're gonna breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Keep going. All righty, we'll stop the stretch in five, four, three, two, one. Good job everybody, that was our warm up. Shake out, get some water. You have some. All right, I'm gonna go through the neck. I'm sorry, I'm not in the picture. I'm gonna go through the next. Um, all right, what we're gonna do, our HIIT workout, we're gonna do more of a circuit training HIIT workout. Um, it's gonna focus on four exercises and then a 45 second to a minute break. And then again, four exercises, 45 second to a minute break. That's one round. I'll show you all the exercises to begin. So the first one is a jumping jack, just like that. Open up your legs out. And if that, if we need to decrease the intensity on that, just step out and step back in on that. Next, then we'll go into a curl to press, just like that. Back down, curl to press. And then we'll go back to a jumping jack. And then we'll go over into a bent row. Just like that. And then you can grab the weights on that one if you'd like. Then that's your 45 to a minute break. And then we'll go into a side step just so just like that. Just step side to side, keeping that blood rushing. Go into a lateral raise. And then we'll go back into a side step or a lateral raise, I'm sorry. And then we'll go side step and then we'll go into a front raise. Make sure those are gonna be done for 30 seconds. I'm gonna start my, start my stopwatch here. Get a little room. Alrighty, if you do have weights, you can use them here, but we'll start in just one. Where's my stopwatch? There it is, all right. All right, we're gonna start in three, two, one with the jumping jacks, just like that. Keep going, keep doing your jumping jacks. All right, I'll step back a little bit, just like that. Jumping jacks, just like that, keep going. All right, keep it up. Keep jumping, yeah. <laughs> jumping jacks. All right, and now shake it out. And we'll start into our curl to press. And start, grab your dumbbells, go into a curl to press. Good job, everyone. Curl up and press. Good job, remember to breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. All right. Keep going. And we'll stop in five, four, three, two, one, and we'll start our jumping jacks. Put your weights down, go into your jumping jacks. Just like that. Good job, everyone. Good job, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. We're almost there. Keep going. You need a side step just like this. Good job. And we'll stop in three, two, one. Finish that up. Now we'll go into bent row for 30 seconds. You can grab your weights. Be great. Bend over at the hips and begin. 
just like that. In a nice athletic position, breathe into your nose, out through your mouth. Good job, everyone. Remember to breathe into your nose and out through your mouth. Catch your breath, doing great. Keep that back nice and straight. Keep the point on the wall in front of you. Just squeeze those scapulas together. Good job. All right, we'll stop that exercise in three, two, one. And we'll have our minute break now. Remember to breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth if you need to get water to reduce that core temperature. That's fine. Doing great though. I remember to step back. I, I move forward when I move and you all can't see my feet and what I'm doing. All right. Keep going. Okay, we want to keep an active rest. Arms in and out, just like that, real slow. Good job. All right. Good job, and we'll start our side steps to start the next circuit in three, two, one. And again, we're just gonna side step just like that. Good job. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Doing great. All right. Keep going with we have 20 more seconds. Good job. All right. 10 more seconds. And then we'll go into a front raise after this. And five, four, three, two, one. We'll stop that. We'll go into our front raise. Just remember, just lift to alternate hands one at a time. Good job. Keep that back nice and straight if you need to. Have a slight bend in your knees, just like that from the side. Nice little front raise, just like that. Good job. Breathe into your nose, out through your mouth. Remember to keep that core tight. All right, we're gonna stop this exercise. Go back into side steps in three, two, one. Place your weights down and go back into side steps. Just like that. Good job. You're doing great, everyone. Keep it up. You should feel your heart beating, pumping, pushing that blood all through the body, helping out with your Respiratory system, keeping those lungs nice and strong, keeping their cardiovascular system nice and strong. Good job. All right, keep going. Doing great. We're gonna start to go to our lateral raises in three, two, one. And we'll begin our lateral raises. Again, we'll alternate here. You can do them both at the same time if you like, or you can alternate one at a time, just like that. Whatever is comfortable for you. And then get a slight bend. You can open it up just like that, like a, a bird flapping his wings or her wings. Good in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good job, everyone. Good job. And we're gonna stop in three, two, 
one, and now we get our active rest. You can shake it out. If you need to grab some water, and we're gonna start this circuit all over again and do it one more time. Shake out the legs, just like that. I'm gonna grab some water. We're all starting to sweat now. It's a good thing. Good job, everyone. You wanna do a little stretching, give yourself a little hug, stretch out your back. Some arm swings, opposite side, roll around. Good job. All right, we're gonna start in 10 seconds. There, nice, a little bit. Arm swings, like you're swimming in the pool. Backwards. All right, and we're gonna start our jumping jacks in three, two, one, and start our jumping jacks. Just like that, good job, everyone. Keep it up. Keep on those toes. Good job. I'm gonna breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. All righty, keep it going. And five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna stop. We'll go to a curl and press. I'm gonna begin that right away. The curl and press. Back down, curl, and press. Good job. Keep going, breathe into your nose, out through your mouth. Curl up and press, just like that. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. And we'll stop in three, two, one. And we'll go back into those jumping jacks. Again, to take down the intensity by just stepping like that, alternating legs, just like that. Good job. All right, keep going. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, and we'll give it four, three, two, one, and we'll go into bent row. Just like that, bent row, up and down, just like that. I'm gonna read these, this comment real quick, but keep rowing. Keep rowing, keep going, you're doing great. Just like that. A nice little bend. All right. Get a break in three, two, one. Good job. Now get your active rest, just step, take out those arms, do what you need. Some water, breathe into the nose and out through the mouth. All righty. Good 
is in through the nose, out through the mouth. We have 15 seconds left, and then we'll start off with our side step. And three, two, one, and start side stepping just like this. Just like that. Get your side step in. Good job. Keep going. Good job, everyone. Just side step, and then we'll go into that front uh, raise. All righty, and we're going to start that front raise in three, two, one. And let's do that front raise just like that. Alternate hands, slight bend in the knee, back nice and straight. Good job. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Good job. Keep it up. And we're going to stop in five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to go back to the side step. Start that now and just side step just like that. Keep that heart rate elevated. Good job. Swing your arms if you'd like. Good job. Just like that, perfect. All right, keep going. In three, two, one, we'll go into our lateral raise, just like that from the side and lift straight up. Yep, if you want to alternate hands, that's totally fine. Just like that. Keep a slight bend in your elbows. Keep going. Good job. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. All right, and we'll stop and get a break in three, two, one. All righty, grab some water if you need to. You could do the side step as an active, uh, hold, or, uh, active break. And then I'll show you what we're gonna do on the next one. So we're gonna run through this one time. Um, we're gonna start off with high knees, just like that. And then we'll go into a squat. And we'll go into another high knee. Oops, sorry. And then a front lunge. Just step in, go down. And then we'll tap our break. And then we'll go into a mountain climber on the chair or just like that. Just a mountain climber, lift your legs up, knee drives, get a twist across. And then we'll go into an RDL or a reverse lunge, I'm sorry. So we'll step backwards instead of forwards. Step, come back up. Step, come back up. Step, come back up. And then we'll go into an RDL and then back into the reverse lunge then a calf raise and then we'll be done. We're going to run through that whole one, one time and that'll be all our leg exercises for the day. Now ready?
and we'll start in three, two, one. So you can start in March, or get those legs pumping, just like that. Good job. Get that heart pumping again. Get it back up. Good job. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. We're gonna switch into the squat in three, two, one. Start squatting. Remember, shoulder width apart. If you have a chair, just go down. You don't have to go full 90. Just a quarter squat is totally fine. Just like that. Good job. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Let's go from the side. Shoot your hips back first, come back up. Just like that. Good job. All right. Go back into high knees in three, two, one. Start pumping those legs. Some high knees going. Just like that. Good job, everyone. Keep it going. Keep those arms moving. Get into it. Keep going, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. All righty, we're gonna go into our front lunge in three, two, one. Now we're going to our front lunge. If you do need a chair, it's totally fine. Just step, squat, come back up, step, lunge. Remember to bend this back leg not this front one's going to bend naturally. And keep going. Just like that, you don't have to go all the way to the ground. It's working on that knee stability right now, ankle stability. Working on that quad strength. Good job, breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And we will go back into our high knees in, or I'll go into our break in three, two, one. Take your active break, 40 seconds to a minute. So we're filling, breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, catch that breath. All right. Keep it going. Doing great. Shake those legs out. You should feel a nice little burn in the legs and your glutes, hamstrings, especially in the quads up here. Good, bend them, shake them out. Doing great. Good job. All righty. We're going to begin our mountain climbers. You can do them. Here, or we can do them across the body like this, depending on how you feel, what works best for you. I like to do them on the chair so we don't have to get up on the ground and off the ground while we're doing the circuit. So we'll start in three, two, one. We're just gonna drive just like that. So just take it across the body as far as you can go, just like that. Good job. Get that twist in there. Good job. Going, you guys doing great. Y'all are doing great. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. All righty. Now we're gonna go back into our reverse lunge in three, two, one, and just step backwards and squat down a little bit, come back up. 
backward, squat down, come back up. If you need the support, it's all right. Grab the chair. You just don't want that front knee to come past your toe, your front toe. Drop it down straight from this leg or whatever leg is going back. Drop it down just like that. Good job. Keep it going. We'll go into our RDLs in 10. Good job. We'll head into our RDLs in five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna go, remember, RDL, straight leg, slight bend. If you wanna grab the weights, I'm gonna come down, keep that back straight, come back up. Keep that back straight, come back up. Just like that. Good job. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. You only wanna go down to mid shin. Then you wanna explode up and drive those hips through. Keep going, y'all are doing great. Come back up. Good job, everyone. All righty. Stop in three, two, one, and we'll go back to those reverse lunges. All righty. And reverse lunge. Step back. Back. Good job. Back. Back. Right in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good job. Good job. All righty. I'm going to stop this in three, two, one. And now we're gonna finish it off with just a calf raise. So just to your tippy toes, just like that. Come back down. If you want a wider stance, a narrow stance, doesn't matter, just working our calves. We'll start in three, two, one, and begin. Good job. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Good job. All righty, 10 more seconds. Keeping that back nice and straight, chest up. Five, four, three, two, one. We'll get our break. We're just gonna take our break into our cool down. That's just gonna start off with just a jog in place, just like that. Just jog in place. Then we'll get, we'll get some shrugs going. Shrug up and down, just like that. Drop it back down. Roll your shoulders forward. Remember to breathe in through your nose. You all did great today. Really try to get that heart rate down here. Go forward, rolling forward. Keep going, doing great. Now we'll go into our little side bends, hit our Obliques, just like that. Keep that back nice and straight. Good job. All righty. Now we're going to go into go into our arm swings, just like that. Just swing it out. You want to open it. Back around. Good job. All righty. Now we'll just go into our neck roll.
All righty, good job, everyone. That'll conclude the class today. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate it. Good job.